In this video, I'm gonna be painting my boyfriend on this super long canvas in Sheila style. So I've had this long canvas ever since I started my painting journey. I bought it because it was cheap, but never really knew what to paint on it. And a few days ago, I took this really funny photo of my boyfriend laying down, and it reminded me of this classical painting that's now also known as a meme of this sickly looking person laying in bed. And in that moment, I was struck with the vision of a super long person on this super long canvas, and that's just what I'm gonna do. Now for this style, I'm going for something like this. This is a copy of this painting by Egon Schiele. I really enjoyed analyzing his technique with this painting specifically, and now I wanna experiment with certain elements of this technique in my own work. I don't know if it's cause Schiele's painting is around 100 years old or if it's always been like this, but the background looks slightly yellowish brown, and I really like that, so I'm going to be priming my canvas in a similar tone. It's a little too dark. The acrylics dry darker, so it's definitely too dark. How about that? Okay. I'm at a point where it's kind of heartbreaking to paint a painting that I think will turn out good and that I'm really excited for on a not so good canvas. It's like I'm sabotaging the success of this painting. Listen to this. Get my black. Also got my reference sketch. Ready to sketch. It's gonna be really long, so. And I'm sketching with this black cause um, pencil doesn't come off and this could come off if I like brush it. This is the first time I'm doing something like not super realistic. I'm just like the middle. This is the middle. And like I still want a hand to look like a hand. I can't even see anything. I'm starting out with pastel colors to lay down the main lines, not trying to go in too quickly and regret the decisions I'm making. As you can see, going over them with a dry brush just completely <laughs> rubbed them out. So I switched to a wet brush and the color stuck. In the style reference, Sheila separates the figure into distinct parts that remind me of cutout shapes. Each of these shapes has a dominating color and brush stroke pattern. That is also what I'm doing here. So I'm outlining the shirt as to create like one distinct noticeable element. So I want his top to be kind of like orange. So I mixed up this orange and this orange. My goal is to apply rough, coarse brush strokes. It's definitely not meant to look polished at all. The canvas is kind of supposed to be visible between the streaks of color. And then I wanna have patches where the canvas isn't visible. Those would be like the darker patches. Shirts. I'm having so 
much fun at this painting and today I'm going to be painting the shorts. I'm choosing to use like a slight grayish green color. I'm using turpentine to thin down the color and I'm really not using much so I didn't think it would affect me but my eyes are starting to tear up. I'm starting to think that when I die, it'll be because of something due to the product I'm using. Did you notice that even though I'm dividing the figure into pretty much two dimensional shapes, I'm still incorporating darker areas where the planes of the body are less lit and a highlight area going all along the body where the main shift in angle happens. And the purpose of this is to give the illusion of volume and make the figure look less flat, even though I wouldn't really mind it being flat either. Here I'm doing the socks. The socks were kind of a big theme for me. At first I tried doing stripes, but as you'll see later on, I decided not to do stripes. I'm debating whether I should make this sock blue or make it a whole different color. I think I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna do the skin and the face and then I'll come back to the socks. I got this new painting shirt at the thrift store the other day. It was when you're 50. I'm like that scarecrow in Hall's Castle. So I did the skin without filming because it was just way too brain energy taxing to like, add on a camera to watch me struggle. I don't think I'm gonna be putting in a face because I feel like if I put in a face, it's kind of gonna draw the attention to it and take away like the attention of like the whole piece. And then I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to create a realistic looking face. So I just don't have a face. As you can see, there are a lot of sketch lines moving around the figure and that's like my style of sketching. I'm gonna try to put another layer of like background color acrylic all around the person and cover up the lines. In the past, I've had paintings where it didn't work and I put layers and layers of acrylic on top and it did not take away the lines. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna try. Now I've mixed up a background color and I really hope that it's the same one as I used before. And I'm deciding to use this brush. I've never used this one before, so we're gonna see how it goes. Another afternoon in the studio. I forgot about oil pastels. They could maybe work. I'm going to be framing the figure using thin lines. I'm gonna try using the brown and maybe the orange and the pink and the yellow ochre and the gray. Maybe some green too. I might end up using everything, but um, I'm gonna see how it works. I don't really enjoy oil pastels that much. I don't know. If I just have bad oil pastels or if oil pastels in general are like this. And I guess it's easy when you know you've already done it before and you know how to do it and you know what's going on. But like when it's your first time, like no one's showing you how to do it and you have to figure it out and you have to figure out what works. And a lot of times, so many things are possible. It's like choices going on all the time. Yeah, so for this one, I have these three colors. I'm using some green. Well, I want to try green because it's like a beautiful match. Such a nice day today. I am 27 years old now. I feel great being 27.
heart's beating like always when I decide that something's good. There he is without a face. I don't know if I'll be adding one and I still have time before I varnish it to decide. Now I actually have a second one of these canvases and I'm planning on painting my dog on it. This time in the same style but maybe adapting it even further. And that video will be right here when it's done and that will probably take a while. So if you're wondering why I'm trying out different styles when I'm supposed to be an artist and do my own thing, I'll put that video right here so you can watch that. And until next video, bye bye.